it is challenge time again. So in this application, we're going to work a bit with themes. So you'll see what you need to do is to create this nicely rounded button. So I've shown you in the previous videos how to do this button. And if you click on the button, it should show you the toast at the bottom that looks exactly like the button. So you're going to create one layout that you're going to use for your button as well as for the background for your toast. Then if I click on the settings there, you should create a settings screen with only two settings there. One to change the theme and one to hide or show the button. So if I click there, if I go back to the main activity, this button must be gone. If I go back to the settings screen, switch it on, then that button must be there again. Now the a bit more complicated way or the comp more complicated setting here is the theme color. So if I can set the theme then to a blue, it changes my whole look and feel of my application. Go back and you can see the action bar, the notification bar, the button, even the toast changed according to that specific theme that the user chose. So we can move them back to the red theme and everything should go back to the red theme. Now again, even the toast. So this is the challenge. See if you can build this one. I've got some hints there for you. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash challenge theme settings, you will see there's a few hints setting up a theme, um, setting a specific theme programmatically. There's also checking to see when a shared preference file is being changed. So basically what happens here is if I go here and I change this theme, I want to see when that happens, when that new value gets saved to the shared preference so that I can change the whole theme for this uh, activity. And when I click on the back button, I also need to change the theme for my main activity. Well, actually any other activity that you're going to use. So just have a look at that on how we can see or check when a shared preference file is being changed or a value inside of it is being changed. And then how do you let the main activity know of this theme change? So you can read through the hints that I gave you. And then after this video, we will look at the solution for this. But please go and try this first. See if you can do this on your own and uh, get this one working. Otherwise, after this video, you will get the solution for this challenge. Good luck.